Hey, it's Alex there from alexfergus.com and behind me I've got a bunch of body panels, red light therapy body panels. So if you have seen my uh, 2019 body panel showdown series, you would have noticed, or you would have seen round three, which was quite controversial, uh, where I measured power irradiance at zero inches, zero inches, right at the surface of the light. Now I'll explain why I did that in the video. If you haven't seen that, go and watch that first. I'll put a link below. I've since done a comprehensive update on my blog, which I'll also link below, explaining why I measured at zero inch and the issues I had with measuring at six inch. Despite all of this, people, including com uh, the companies that supplied these panels, uh, readers, viewers, yourself, um, have reported in and said, look, we want to see the six inch and even 12 inch readings, despite the issues, uh, the limitations. So I thought, you know what, I'll just do it. I'll, I'll do a video, I'll test it six inches and um, share the numbers with you guys because I wanted, that's the whole point of this video series. I wanted to show as much data so you could go and make an informed decision yourself. Um, so I've got my meter here and I've measured out six inches and, and taped the ruler to it. So I, what I'm gonna do is just literally go through and measure the readings at six inches and I'm gonna film it and you'll see the fluctuations, all right? Um, one thing to note, one other thing I should mention is I've actually figured out a little bit more about this meter, like how to use it, um, the measuring rate. I can I can lock in a measuring rate there, and I'm I'm getting a lot more consistency with the numbers, but you still see that variability from hotspots, beam angles, and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, uh, now let's get into measuring these numbers at six inch. So one thing I will mention is I'm only going to me measure total power. All right, so I'm not going to measure infrared, the near infrared, and then the red light. I'm just going to do total. Um, I've, yeah, I've already spent enough time on this and you can go back and see some of the numbers on that. Um, no one really has asked me about like red versus near infrared, so I'm just going to do total. When I do the 2020 review, uh, body panel review, hopefully there's some new panels coming in and I'll do this whole series again. I will test that 6 inch showing um, red and near infrared. Um, I'm also going to be doing a mid-size panel, like these are the, the half size, so the 360 red rush the uh, Mito Mini, I think it's called, um, the Biomax 300 or 450. I'm going to review all of those. For that review, I will measure red and the infrared. Sorry, I just had a brain, brain, brain fart there. All right, so that's it. Let's, uh, let's see how we go with the recording here. Um, oh, one other thing. So all the companies, uh, with their testing and all the YouTube videos, they use solar meters, right? And what they, they set those solar meters to measure at um, peak hold. So that will simply record the absolute peak number, the highest wavelength that's picked up, and that's what they show and reveal. I've got many issues with that. Um, again, like hotspots, what happens if there's one real big concentration point and that's your peak, you know, like that, and then all the rest is like half that number. Um, there's lots of issues there. I've been into this. I'll link, I'll link to the article. I, I've written about this issue. Um, but that's what people want. That's what people are asking me to do. So I'm going to do it. I don't know if I can find a peak hold number on here, so instead you'll just have to, hopefully I can get the screen on here. Actually, you're not gonna be able to see the screen because it's gonna be so red. You'll just have to trust me on this, okay? I'll, I'll read out the numbers as I see them. Anyway, w what we're gonna use for this comparison sake is the peak number, all right? The highest value we see, all right? Because it's too hard to average it, um, like, it's just ridiculous. It, it moves, there's so much fluctuation as I move around. Um, so we're just gonna go with peak. And uh, I hope everyone's happy with that. All right, let's get started on this. So I just double checked. There's no way you can see the screen on here as I am, um, as I have the red lights on. It's just too hard to focus in because it's so bright with that red light. So yeah, you're just going to have to trust me on these numbers, okay? What I have done with this meter is I've locked in uh, down the bottom right here. I've locked in the refresh rate, so it's going to be the same refresh rate for all of them. That's how fast it's measuring. It can be anything from like I think it's. Uh, what 100 uh, microseconds right up to like five seconds in terms of how much data it collects. So I'm gonna put it 350 US, I believe that's microseconds. Anyway, let's um, let's go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna read out the numbers. Whoops, I'm just gonna read out the numbers um, and then I'll go back and uh, write down the peak number that I see. So this is the Mito Red Mito Max. So we're gonna start off panel here. So I got the settings right. Yep, 
Alright. So, I am about two inches off. I'm at four, and this is uh, milliwatts per centimeter square. Seven, five, ten, twelve, fifteen, twenty, twenty six. So I'm now in line with the panel. Thirty five, forty three, forty one, forty nine, forty six, fifty four. 54, 58, 54, 62, 55, 60, 65, 62, 68, 60, 68, 71, 68, 60, 60, 62, 57, 56, 44, 40, 29, 23. I told you there was heaps of variability there, right? Uh, what was the highest? 72, I think it was. It's a lot. That's pretty good. Right, 72. These guys do claim to have the most power. Um, they say they've got 5 watt LEDs. Um, their numbers at the source were pretty low. So, um, hey, that's pretty good. 72. You can see that variability there. And that's why I was so nervous about tracking this. Because even when I was in front of the panel, it was 40, it was 50, it was 60, it was 70. And then dropped down again. I didn't get to 70 until I was way over to the side. I mean, it's... It's all over the place and if I average that how do you average it do you just pick random points but what happens if you pick five points and three of them are hot spots and two are really low points and then you pick five points here and you don't get any hot spots like there's so many issues but anyway 72 all right I think that's what it was 72 I have to go back and watch it um, all right let's do the same so now we've got the red therapy red red rush so I'm turning the near infrared light on starting this up so bright. All right, here we go. So we're starting off panel seven. So this has got a much wider beam angle because I'm way off and I'm, I'm still getting power on this side here, which I know they talk about. Uh, 10, 8, 14, 19, 19, 26, 30, 33, 44, 46, 41, 53, 57, 50, 58, 50, 60, 61, 51, sorry, 57, 49, 49, 49, 48, 51, 55, 54, 44, 39, 41, 52. It's dropping down. Okay, I don't even know what number that was the highest there. Was it 60? Sorry, I'm gonna have to go back and watch all of these. All right, let's move on to the next one. This is the Mito HQ. Uh, Mito panel. Yeah, so one quick thing about the red rush there. I know um, they talk about having a wider beam angle, wider treatment area, and you saw that straight away because with the Mito red, uh, when I was just off the panel, there was like, what, three or four um, points, whereas here I was like an inch or two off and I was already at 10. Um, so this is a lot more focused. This is a lot more wider. I think red light rising, which we'll do at the end, is the most focused of the lot, which again, it's like, it's so confusing, right? I I'm hoping you guys can understand why Measuring um, power is, is such a complex thing. Anyway, let's do the Mito HQ Mito Max. By the way, all these panels, discount code Alex, you'll get a discount, savings. Um, let's go. See, this is one thing I don't like about the Mito HQ is you don't know if the lights are on. So fire infrared's on. I can, since fire infrared, it should be near infrared. It's interesting. All right, and now red light, let's go. Start off panel. Hit the start button. Just checking this is working. Yep. All right. So we're at three, two, four, six, ten, fourteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-six, thirty, thirty-four. I'm just going to check something real quick. Yep. Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-seven, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-three, forty-five, forty-five, forty-six. 46, 45, 45, 46, same pretty steady here, 46, 43, 45, 42, 40, 41, 37, 34, 32, 24, so it's dropping down. Uh, so what was that? 40, 45. All right, so I just went back to check the numbers. Mito Red, the very first one we had, peaked at 71. Red Rush, the second one, uh, the Red Rush 720. Peaked at 60, Mito HQ Mito panel here, the, 
black one peaked at 46. So, so far the motor read is, is well in front. All right, so now we're gonna do the Biomax, the Platinum LED Therapy Biomax 600, okay? Um, I think this came in second overall with power at zero inches. So, let's get this going. Okay, we're at five, six, seven, 14, 24, 25, 38, 48, 50, 58, 56, 59, 60, 61, oh shit, 61, 64, 55, 53, 50, 50, 52, 55, 58, 59, 60, 66, 54, 54, 44, 28, 17, 12, 7. So I think yeah, the peak was um, 60. Uh, so I mean based on that, what do we say, 66 for Biomax, that puts them in second place with Mito Red at first, but they were second place behind Juve, so if Juve come out number one here, Biomax would drop down, but Juve very well may not, because I know Mito Red say they got the best on the, the most powerful panel on the market, and Biomax have said they're more powerful than Juve, so let's find out. Alright, Juve, Solo, firing up. Let's do this. Okay. So we're at zero, zero, three, three. Oh, just check that. Yep, three, five, five, six, eight, nine. We're in line with the LEDs now. 19, 21, 25, 28, 30, 33, 37. 41, 42, 44, 45, 43, 46, 48, 47, 43, 46, 44, 45, 44, 43, 40, 38, 39, 41, 40, 34, 30, 22, 19. There we go. That is crazy, isn't it? Uh, I don't even know what I said. 48, I think it was. So that puts them... That puts them, after testing five panels, remember Juve were number one at zero inches, testing five panels, they're in fourth place. Mono Red is 71, Biomax 66, Red Rush 60, Juve 48, only just beating Mito HQ at 46. Interesting, huh? So, I mean, yeah, there was definitely a flaw in my zero inch testing because the Juve came out like double the power. So, um, yeah, I apologize for any confusion that uh, has resulted in this. Um, I mean, it's you can even see the variability. Juve, though, were like Mito HQ, were pretty consistent. Biomax and, and um, Mito Red, the two most powerful, will seem to have the most fluctuation with the numbers uh, whether that's just because they have more high hot spots whether it's something to do with the beam angle whether it's something to do with LED spacing or whether it's simply because they're much more powered high powered units so there's more variability in it I, I don't know um, all right so yeah 48 um, yeah again I want to uh, apologize because obviously my zero inch readings were very inaccurate I mean Mito Red have sent me independent testing and they said they were the most powerful panel on the market. I haven't finished all the testing yet, but yeah, that it's my, my meter here is showing, yes, they are 71, has come out on top. Biomax have done their own testing and said they're higher than Juve. That's also what I saw, 66 versus 48. Yeah, I should have done six inch testing from day one. The reason why I didn't want to was because of that fluctuation. Uh, because I didn't know what was fair. I mean, after speaking to a few people, they just say, oh, they use peak hold, right? Whatever the highest number is, that's what they run with. I still haven't many flaws in that. I have flaws with all of these measurements, beam angle, hotspots, all of it. You, you know this now. Anyway, I'm doing this now. I'm putting this out there. And uh, we've got one more panel to go. So Red Light Rising, I haven't forgotten about you guys. Uh, let's see what happens here. I think Red Light Rising actually do um, have quite a focused beam angle. 
All right, so red light rising, full stack. Oh, let's go. I'm gonna go down on an angle here because I've got the red lights in one row and then the near infrared underneath. So I don't want to just get red and just or just get near infrared. I'm gonna come down, stay good, right? Okay, let's go. Start at this point. So we're at three, 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 five, six, seven, ten, eleven, sixteen, twenty-one, twenty-six. 32, 39, 40, 43, 43, 46, 48, 53, 51, 54, 56, 55, 56, 57, 58, 55, 56, 58, 59, 57, 55, 53, 40, 40 48, 45, 40, 29, 16, 5. What was that? 50 something. 58. Well, they were the only ones in the 50s. Alright, so we've got a total. We've got a, we got a um, ranking. First, uh, let's go bottom up. Last place for power irradiance at 6 inches tested by this meter. Which has been customized to also test in... Um, in uh, up to 1050 nanometers because the base model only goes to 850 or 750. This is what I'm looking at here. All right, so I see the power levels with the graph at the bottom. I see flicker and whatnot. Um, you want to look at that EE measurement. So that was 15. That was the last measurement I took. Uh, and so that that's changing. The graphs are changing. It shows pretty cool stuff. Like the peak nanometer there was 660.9. You can see flicker. It's a pretty cool machine. Um, in the last place we had the Mito HQ Mito panel, 46 uh, milliwatts per centimeter squared. Second to last, we have the Juve. All right, 48. So they weren't far from rock bottom. Um, they came out number one by a large margin at zero inch. I'm gonna have to go back and change all this. I'm I'm so sorry. I feel horrible for this. Uh, no, sorry. Fourth place we have Red Light Rising, the full stack, 58. In third place, Red Rush at 60. In second place, the Biomax 600 at 66. In first place, as claimed, down the end there, the very first panel I tested, Mito Red, Mito Max 71. They're also the cheapest panel. Um, that makes them a really good value. I mean, most power, cheapest price point. I'm sure they don't have all the bells and whistles, but um, interesting. So let's run through the updated totals now using the six inch uh, power, peak power readings. In first place with 25 points was the Biomax. In second place with 32 points was Mito Red Mito Max. In third place with 37 points, Red Light Rising. In fourth equal, shared between Mito HQ and Juve, they both had 40 points. And in last place, sixth place, Red Therapy, Red Rush, 720, 41 points. Thoughts, comments, feedback, please leave them below. Uh, please don't give me a thumbs down for, for this video. I, I've tried my best. I hope you can understand why uh, I did what I did. I've written about it, talked about it. Uh, I don't need to bring it up again. Um, still though, Biomax a clear number one. So you can't go wrong with Biomax. Like nearly the top power. I mean, there are only a few points below, below the Mito Red. Um, great performance all around, best warranty, great support five wavelengths instead of two uh you get the modular capability low emf low flicker well decent flicker um good amount of leds uh good price point discount code alex saves five percent you know there's a reason why they are fast growing uh, they was fastly becoming very popular in the biohacking uh space and um they might not have the marketing might that you know, Juve has, for instance, but their panel is a good panel, um, and haven't had any issues with, you know, like I did with the Juve you saw at the start of the video. Um, so there we go. Mito Red, if you're really uh, tight on the cash and you just want a high-powered, good-value panel, then Mito Red, Mito Max. I mean, they scored really well in second place, um, and they are a lot cheaper than Biomax. So um, there you go. Oh, you don't get all the same bells and whistles as you do with Biomax. Um, and, um, but still, overall, good, good panel. Discount code Alex will also save 5% on their panel. So, 
Can't go wrong there. Third place red light rising. Uh, yeah, quite a unique panel, different in many ways. They don't have the modular design and all that as well. But they have no flicker, so if you're worried about flicker, then they're the ones to go to. And they also had decent power. I mean, not the best, but it's up there. So you can't go wrong with any of those panels. Mito HQ hold fourth place, so if you're in Australia, um, go with Mito HQ. You're going to save a ton of money. If, if money's not an issue, sure, go with Biomax, but Mito HQ, discount code Alex, I think it saves you 10% as well. And um, Juve, I mean, now they're in fourth, fourth equal. It's kind of hard to justify that high expense. Uh, so previously, you know, they I thought they were really high powered. So I was like, well, if you just want pure power, go with them. But but now, um, yeah, I mean, you have to wonder. There's better panels. I guess that's that's what I'm trying to say here. That's the whole purpose of this this um, review. There's better panels. They they're high power. You get better warranty, better EMF, better flicker, whatever it may be. Um, and it's so much cheaper. And they don't do a discount code. I'm wrapping up now. What I'm going to do, be sure to subscribe and jump on my email list. Uh, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mini review. I'm going to do a handheld one. And in 2020, I'm getting, I'm hearing whispers that, you know, there might be a new company coming on the market or there's going to be a new panel coming out. Um, so what I'm going to do, once things have settled in a bit, I'm going to do this whole review again with 2020 to find the best body panel for 2020. And I promise not to uh, screw up the power numbers this time around. <sighs> Please don't hate me. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the support. Give me a thumbs up for this. Share this with your friends. Um, comment. And yeah, you can always support me by using discount code Alex on any of these panels. All right, guys. Bye.